All right, now a 17-year-old boy from Udaipur in Rajasthan in India has created history by scoring a perfect 360 on 360 in the JEE main examinations that guarantee him a spot in any of the top engineering colleges in India. He's the first ever person to get that perfect score in this exam. His name is Kalpit Virwal and he joins us live from Udaipur right now. Kalpit, many congratulations first up for creating history, scoring a perfect 100% in these examinations. Did you know, did you ever imagine that you could, perhaps you knew you could do well, but uh, 100%? Uh, yeah, you're correct that uh, uh, when I was like preparing in class 11th and 12th, I was uh, confident of scoring a good score, maybe above 300. Uh, but 360 out of 360 is something which is beyond my imaginations and it used to be a dream for me which has come true. And Kalpit, it's not new for you, right? You've topped a couple of uh, exams before this as well. Tell us about uh, that also. Uh, my academic career, uh, like I had been topping my school examinations uh, since class 2 uh, and uh, my national level ca academic career began in class 9th when I uh, cleared two stages of Indian National Junior Science Olympiad and Indian National Astronomy Olympiad. Uh, I attended the uh, camp which was held in Mumbai and only 35 students from India were invited to that camp. Uh, I learned about the national level competition over there and uh, uh, my confidence level was also boosted by that camp. Uh, then in class 10th, I topped the NTSC stage 1 examination, which was held in Rajasthan level. Uh, and I also cleared the second stage, but uh, no ranks were provided in that. I also cleared the KVPY examination in class 11th, and I cleared the first stages of Physics and Astronomy Olympiad in class 11th itself. In class 12th, I cleared the Physics, Chemistry and Astronomy Olympiad examinations, and I was invited for the Astronomy Olympiad uh, camp in Mumbai. Uh, however, I did not attend it because uh, it is in the vicinity of my JE exam. Okay. All uh, right. So these are some of my achievements till now. Uh, that's fantastic, Kalpit. Uh, give the viewers a sense of what went into preparations for the JEE exam. What was your day like? Uh, uh, can you please repeat the question, ma'am? I'm asking you, uh, give us a sense, you know, what, how did you prepare for the JEE exam? What was your day like? When did you get up? How many hours did you put in, uh, you know, for studying for these exams? Uh, I began CS preparation for JEE examination in class uh, 11th. I joined the MDS public school in Udaipur and uh, uh, its director, Mr. Shailen, Dr. Shailen Somani and principal ma'am, uh, Mrs. Nidhi Maheshwari have always been with me. Uh, I also st uh, decided to uh, go to Udaipur Study Center of Resonance instead of going to Kocha, Kota. Uh, and uh, the team over here has been very well. I used to wake up at 6 in the morning and uh, uh, then I went to the school uh, and uh, after coming from school, I used to go to my coaching uh, with some, in uh, and there was some time in between in which I used to self-study. And after coming from coaching, I used to devote some more time of self-study in completing my homework, uh, reading my notes and doing some extra questions from books for this preparation. I laid special emphasis on revision of various topics as revision is very important for this examination. Uh, and to ensure regular practice, some mock tests are also conducted by Resonance uh, Institute. Uh, all the tests are conducted in the same manner all across the India, uh, which is the same as that as Kota Study Center. Right. Uh, from those tests, I developed speed, accuracy, and examination temperament, which are very important factors. Also, culprit. So you're uh, saying on it the was... day of the JE examination, my teachers. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. I was asking you. Your schedule seems very packed. Are you trying to say it was all work and no play? Did you find time, perhaps, to listen to some music or go outdoors, do an activity that you liked during that time? Uh, actually, uh, I have a very good time management, so I used to take out some time for other activities also in between, uh, uh, in parallel with my studies. And those were like? Uh, like I like to play cricket, badminton, and sometimes I also watch television for recreation. Sometimes when uh, an important match is coming, I watch it, and I also like listening to music. 
All right, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm Kalpit. also a big fan of Harry Potter and James Bond movies. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, uh, who would you, you know, who would you say is responsible for cracking this exam, getting a hundred percent? Do you, uh, perhaps your, you know, family, your teachers? Who would you give the credit to? Of course, it's all yours uh, in a sense. But then, uh, what do you have to say to that? Uh, I want to devote the uh, the credit of the success to my parents who have always been with me, my brother who is a constant source of motivation for me, my teachers both at MDS public school, especially uh, so Somani sir who is the director and uh, so and uh, uh, Nidhi ma'am who is the principal of our school. Uh, I also want to thank all the teachers at Resonance Sudhapur Study Center who have always been with me uh, like uh, Ravi Ranjan sir, Upendra sir, Jambu Jain sir and Nitin Swani sir. They have really taught me well. Uh, I want to devote my success to these people. Right, Kalpit. Also, you mentioned uh, your older brother. You know, I was reading up. He is in the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Uh, so it seems, you know, brilliance runs in the family. Uh, yeah, ma'am. He has always been a role model for me, and I used to get motivated by his achievements. Like uh, studying in a college of national level is really a big thing, and I used to take motivation from that, that I have to perform better and uh, like I have to keep up with my brother, that he used to be always uh, idle for me. All right, Kalpit, let's take it a bit forward, you know. I, uh, I, there's also statistics available which say that boys outshine the girls. Usually it's the other way around, but in, in these entrance examinations, it was 932 boys who took the top spot. Only 68 girls could manage to crack this exam. According to you, what makes it uh, difficult, so much more difficult for the girls to crack this exam? Do you, uh, do you have an opinion on this? Uh, actually, uh, I used to study at the Udaipur Study Centre and from there, uh, over the last six years, we have had three girls topper from our, uh, from our institute and in our institute there is very equanimity between girls and uh, boys students, so I did not face such kind of a situation, but if we look at the national level, yeah, there is some disparity between uh, uh, the performance of girls and boys, but I am too young to, like, I don't know the reasons of why this thing happens. Okay, okay. I can comment on that. All right. Um, also, you know, uh, we would like to know what are your future plans? Of course, uh, you know, focusing on the advanced JEA examination will be top on your list. Uh, give us a sense of how, uh, you know, how will you plan out things from now? Uh, first of all, uh, from the, for the remaining 20, 25 days, I would like to study as much as possible uh, for the advanced examination to perform well in it. After that, I would uh, decide my future college depending on the rank which I achieve in that examination. And uh, in my future, I haven't decided it yet, uh, but I would have a good discussion with my teachers, both at school and coaching, and my parents to decide upon my future. Uh, so uh, it's not very clear like what I would be doing in my future. Okay, but do you see yourself uh, settled and working in the country or would you like to explore opportunities outside of India as well? Uh, actually, I would uh, like to do something for my country and uh, I would not like to pursue my career outside India. But uh, uh, okay, we would decide about that in future. But personally, I want to work in India only. All right, that's uh, great. And what would you like to say to many young students who perhaps are thinking about giving their entrance examination next year? Any word of advice, what they should do, what they shouldn't do, what, the, what should they focus on to crack it? Uh, I would just say that those who have been preparing well, stay focused and confident about yourself and you will really come out with flying colors. Uh, always uh, clear your doubts with your teachers and uh, always stay focused towards your goal. Never stop your hard work and uh, uh, I just want to say that uh, for those who haven't been preparing well yet, the, it's high time now and you should start preparing and uh, you should de try to devote your maximum time towards uh, studies and uh, uh, you should like enjoy life uh, and not take stress of studies and uh, you should just enjoy preparation rather than just taking it at, at, as a pressure or as a burden. 
Absolutely, Kalpit. Now, so best of luck to all future aspirants. <laughs> that's a great message. Now, what some people do is when they're preparing for an entrance examination, and I've seen my, uh, you know, my school uh, friends do this as well. When they're focusing on a big examination, they tend to ignore the classes, the regular classes. Uh, what what would you say to those people? Because you also said that you didn't miss any classes during preparations uh, for these exams. Uh, yeah, um, I had almost 100% attendance during my in both my school and coaching. Only one day I fell ill in class 11th uh, and did not attend the classes. So I would just like to say that school classes help a lot because all the board examinations are like based on school. And if you attend school regularly, then you would not have to spend much time on board examinations in the last time. And uh, apart from that, the J syllabus of JE Main is almost similar to, similar to that of board. So in a way, by studying NCRT textbooks and paying attention to what is being taught in the class, you're automatically preparing yourself for such competitive examinations. So school is a must and you must not uh, like miss it because uh, these are the last two years of your school life and you should definitely go to a school and enjoy it. All right, Kalpit, you have to, you know, you've proved it. You are an all-rounder, uh, interest in sports as well, getting a 100% score in one of the toughest examinations in the country. Uh, best of luck to you in your future endeavors, and thanks so much for joining us here. So, Kalpit Virwal there, showing us that nothing is impossible, everything can be achieved. He plans to stay and work in India, but as he said, he hasn't given that much uh, thought at this point, focusing on the exam next month, the advanced JEE.